Should the Niners trade up or trade down from pick 12, in your opinion? Uh, you know, obviously it's a question that we have to ask ourselves is what the actual draft position as the draft takes place. Like you said earlier, I'm going to echo on that analysis. These quarterbacks are going to be pushed up the board. So that means that when you look at the vertical board, a lot of these top tier players are going to be dropping and falling. So based on their needs and what they need and the best player available at that position of need, if, uh, if I, if a Patrick Sertan somehow falls to the Niners, I say take Patrick Sertan, but if you're looking for an offensive lineman, I would say trade down, and that includes Rashawn Slater. I would still say trade down from 12. If you're looking at for an edge rusher, definitely trade down from 12. Um, if you're looking at quarterback, you know, if all the quarterbacks are off the board, definitely trade down. So ultimately, I would say trade down, stockpile more picks, trade back into maybe the late teens, and pick up a player at a position need that's still high in your draft board based on the horrors on the board when you look at it. So that's my thing. Yeah. I don't think the Niners should be trading multiple assets for one. Unless it's Deshaun Watson, unless yeah. it's Watson. Mm -hmm. And then even then, I wouldn't give up more than three. I would give up the best three assets than like seven good assets because the Niners have a really weird spot right now. Like they have right. 25 free agents. They're kind of reloading their roster. I think they need as many. They need more draft picks. And they have right. a lot in like day three this year, but they don't have that many. They have two in the top 100. Mm -hmm. So then to, to move up from 12, you'd be packaging 12 and 43 to move up. And now you're done. That's it. That's moving the top 100. Yeah, the rest of those picks, I mean, one in four of them could work out. So you right. don't know, right? Um, I would be more into trading. That's why I like trade Nick Bosa for the two and trade down. Trade, uh, tr trade, turn big assets into multiple assets. So if mm -hmm. you're not going to do that, trade twelve and turn that into more picks, and then now you can get a quarterback and a corner at the end of round one, something like that. I'd be much more into trading down. Yeah, exactly. Unless there's someone that just drops to 12 that you love, like like an uh, offensive lineman or a quarterback, <laughs> something like right. that. I don't know if there's any corner at 12 that I love. Like the more I watch Sertan, he's really athletic and quick, but he's not super big and he's not super physical. Uh, like he plays smaller than Verrett, in my opinion. And while he's a good – I think he'd match up well with like Lockett. I don't think he can – is a really good matchup against DK Metcalf or Hopkins. Yeah, definitely not one-on-one, -on -one, but when you talk about the cover three scheme, when you keep everything in front of you, being a sound technician at the line, winning early in the down, he's I think very good. that you look for. He's, he's very good. good. Yeah, he's, he's very, very good. good. He's yeah. very good. I'm just talking matchups here. But yeah. Oh, then, oh, he'll get blown away, Grant. Yeah, I'm talking matchups here. And I think the Niners need to keep that in mind when yeah. you're drafting a corner. Like, if you if you do bring back Jason Verrett, then you're definitely looking for a guy who's bigger who can match up with DK. Right. Good yeah. point. Good point. Okay. Um. So we both agree they should trade down. Yes. Unless there's someone that you just love at 12, don't trade up. They should not trade up. No. no. Uh, do not package picks to move up. If you're trading up, you're trading something, someone, someone of your own. Jimmy Garoppolo. 